Hey everybody, I'm Bad as Fish 80. Welcome back to the fish tank, powered as always by Sneak Energy. Use code FISH if you wish at sneakenergy.com. Check out the description to find out more about the awesome Sneak Energy. Now, what do we have for you today? Okay, so with, there's been a recent blog post from Mini Masters developers, Beta Dwarf, about the upcoming re Mini Masters Remastered and strap in, this is going to be a rough one. Unfortunately, this is not a positive post. At least not looking at it from the outset. There's going to be some things in this post that are going to upset people for sure. People are going to feel alienated. People are going to feel unloved. So we're going to go through that. But what I want to try to do here, and whilst I am a Mini Masters partner, um, I am entitled, of course, to my own opinion, and um, I will tell you how I feel about this. Now, I think it's important to realise that all of the decisions and the choices we're going to see in this blog post, they're done for a reason. And whilst they may upset people and they may alienate some of the player base, it seems like it's a necessary evil. So I think whilst people may be upset, please keep in mind, if you can, the, uh, the reasoning or the reasoning that we can kind of think why they would have done these things. But anyway, before we talk about that anymore, let's get in and see what the information is. Okay, so the blog post, the link will be down in the description if you want to find out more yourself. Right, Mini Masters Remastered, an update. Okay, so basically in the, uh, the period coming up to Mini Masters Remastered, there's going to be some changes. The first big change, and they say it here with a heavy heart, and it's an immensely difficult decision. Minion Masters Remastered is not, I repeat, not going to be released on Xbox. Now, I know that's going to make a lot of people, a lot of the Xbox players, a lot of the Xbox community very upset. And Beta Dwarf, they know that you're going to be upset and they are very sorry to have to upset you like this. But this is purely, from uh, what I can ascertain, purely a decision of they've got... To, uh, they've got a certain amount of resources, uh, they've got plans for Xbox, uh, sorry, they've got plans for Mini Masters Remastered, um, they've got a time frame that they need to get it all done by, um, and basically the issues uh, around developing for Xbox uh, mean that they just are unable, based on the player base on Xbox, to, uh, to put the resources towards that. Now, that sucks for people on Xbox, but I think hopefully you can understand from a business decision they need to uh, prioritize the platforms um, that are going to bring in the most players. And unfortunately, Xbox is not that at the moment. So what does that mean for the future of Xbox? Well, Mini Masters 1.0 will continue to be available on Xbox, but uh, it's basically going to be separate to uh, remastered. So it'll be the old version, and it will have minimal support. Now... We've got some quotes from the devs that I've gleaned from the Discord discussion. Of course, once this blog post went out, there was a lot of discussion in the Discord about this. Um, the current plan is for Mini Masters on Xbox to be a closed environment, meaning Xbox players only play with other Xbox players and stay on 1.0. Now, uh, they go on to say it's been very difficult to justify at this time due to the relatively low amount of players to continue supporting Xbox. Um, it was not an easy decision. Uh, and they do hope that many players will join us on PC and mobile. I know that's not going to work for all Xbox players, but hopefully if you love the game and you do have access to different platforms, you will consider coming across and joining the remastered revolution. Now, what they have said is that all Xbox players are going to have the chance to transfer their accounts to the new remastered platform, which will be PC and mobile. Um, and they'll do their best to support that transition. Uh, they will also be reconsidering in the future the likeness of re-releasing Mini Masters Remasters to Xbox. So, it's not coming to Xbox immediately. It could do, but don't hold your breath for the future. Um, they also say Xbox players will be given something. What that is, I don't know. And obviously that's going to be Xbox players that uh, come across to the new platform, I would assume. Okay, so that's the first big news. Unfortunately, a lot of Xbox players are going to be upset, but... It's difficult for me to, to fully understand that because I don't play on Xbox and I'm not having my platform taken away. Um, but also, from what I understand, it wasn't a great experience on Xbox anyway. Um, 
I don't really know why that's important, but that was just something I think that held the game back on Xbox because it wasn't a great experience, therefore a lot of people wouldn't have played it. <coughs> okay, the second thing here. Events and game modes. We're removing Mayhem, Draft, Adventures, and House Events. Now what they say here is these modes are not very popular and struggle to maintain a queue big enough for a good player experience. We've remastered, we want to zero in and focus on our core mode. Closing off uh, these lowly populated modes should help us improve the overall experience. But they do also say doing this also opens the possibility for us to work on new and exciting modes in the future. Right, I have some issues here. Firstly, they, they throw a blanket, the queues are not big enough for good player experience, you know, rationale here. Which is not appropriate. Adventures... It's a PvE mode. Irrelevant. House events, it's not a mode. Irrelevant. Uh, draft, I've played quite a lot of draft. I very rarely have long queues. Um, so I think the issue here is not so much with the the, the queues. I think the, the long queues issue is mostly for Mayhem, specifically pre-made Mayhem. Now we've seen some figures floating around. It seems that draft equates to about 5% of the matches played within the game. Uh, whereas Adventures and Mayhem have a very, very almost negligible play rate. So I can understand Mayhem and Adventures going because they're just not very, they're not played very much. But Draft, I have a big problem with Draft being removed. To me, Draft is a core mode of the game. And this is something that a lot of people have been upset about. A lot of people also agree that it feels like a core mode of the game. Um, I feel, and other people have uh, replicated this, that it's a great mode for new players. You know, you join the game, you have very few cards and masters. Jump into draft, you get to experience new stuff. You can learn new masters, you can learn new cards that you don't currently have access to in your collection. And very importantly, you can escape the meta. It's the same gameplay, but it's not restricted to the meta that uh, is on ladder and that's something that a lot of people will get sick of playing the same stuff over and over again in, in on ladder and they'll jump into draft um, for a way of escaping that so I'm very upset to hear that uh, that draft is being removed now house events I'm sure something will be uh, in place instead of that um, the developers have basically said that Twitch drops are going to continue, um, so they'll, I'm sure, be looking at alternatives to make Twitch drops valuable. Of course, Twitch drops are where you can get in-game content simply from watching streamers play the game, uh, just as an encouragement of you guys to come and hang out with the streamers. Uh, and hopefully that's just a little added benefit. You'll hang around for the, uh, the good times, the good games, and the good music. So... Um, Basically, a lot of people have said that they're unhappy with draft being removed. We'll see what happens. Um, I saw a post on, in the Discord from one of the devs who said they've been discuss it, discussing if they remove these modes, what will they replace it with? And one of the things that they were talking about replacing it with has been codenamed Draft 2.0. Um, so that sounds like draft, but better, hopefully. Um, but with regards to that, who knows if that's going to be something that's going to be part of the game when it's launched. Um which is going to be early next year, or not. The other big issue I have here is uh, the rationale for the removal of a lot of these modes is that there's not a big enough queue. And the whole purpose of Mini Masters Remastered and rolling it out to the mobile platforms is to allow more people to play the game. And more people playing the game will remove the issues from uh, with less people playing modes and will remove the problems of, of long queue times. So that seems a little bit um, counterproductive there. I think I think they could have been just a little bit more transparent with this. Basically they've got a, a certain amount of resources they need to divert those resources where appropriate. Xbox they don't have the resources to develop that whilst of course if they had unlimited resources they would love to do that and the same with the game modes. Um, but I think it's important that we have our say about draft. To me, and a lot of people I've spoken to, draft is a real um, 
key part of the game and I feel like the game will be considerably worse if they remove draft. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the removal of the game from Xbox, the removal of the game, removal of the game modes. Please try to keep it respectful. Please try to understand there's reasons behind this. Um, but we do, of course, understand if you are annoyed. Now, the, uh, the only final other thing here, leaving Discord games. So remember, this game was originally part of Discord Gaming. Then it came to Steam. Uh, and from what I understand, Discord Gaming has uh, imposed restrictions of what can and can't be done. So um, they decided, the developers decided to remove the game from Discord Gaming. They had the process available where you could transfer your Discord progress over to, your, to a Steam account. Um, but this is going to be basically the last hurrah. Um, so it says, uh, leaving Discord Gaming, uh, all players that are logging into the game through Discord will have a chance to transfer their accounts up until Mini Masters is released. So you need to do that before it's released. And of course, they'll give you plenty of up, plenty of uh, heads up ahead of that to uh, make sure you don't miss that. Uh, once we've released the remastered version, all players logging in through Discord will not be able to anymore. But of course, remember, that's just the game on Discord. The Discord community is, is not uh, related to this at all. So the community will stay there. The community, the Discord community, that's a perfect, brilliant platform for you guys to interact with the devs, to give your feedback, to make friends, to support, uh, to submit bug reports and all sorts of things like that. Um, so yeah, that's basically the post. Not coming to Xbox, Mini Masters Remastered. Game modes being removed, Mayhem Draft Adventures House Events, and it's leaving Discord Gaming forever. They do finish with, uh, the developers say, we want to thank everyone uh, for your continued support and passion for Mini Masters. Without you, we wouldn't be here. So, yeah. That was... That was a blog post that I wasn't fully surprised about, but some of them, like the removal of the game modes, I was very surprised about. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's continue discussion in the chat, in the stream, in the comments. Let me know what you think. Please, if you've enjoyed this video and some of the other Mini Masters content here on the channel, or any other content on this channel, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Looking at the statistics, we're at 66% of viewers are unsubscribed. Unclean. Please hit that sub button, it really helps. Drop a comment, drop a like. Um, give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think about the content. Always more Mini Masters content to come here in the fish tank. Um, thanks so much for taking some time out of your day to listen to me talk about this update. And as, as I say, let's have the discussion. Tell me what you think about this. Uh, and hopefully um, I'll see you again soon here on Twitch, on YouTube, or wherever the hell we end up. Take care.